Good morning, this is day four, and um, they were supposed to come in with a uh, crane, but they were low on workers. So they started working on the trusses anyways. So let's see what they're doing on day four. mile in fog patches and showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning. Stars shining bright above me. Night breezes seem to whisper.
Hey guys, this is all they got done before um, pouring rain. You can see it rained really hard yesterday. All the puddles everywhere. Um, and they got, this is an end truss. You can always tell because they've got wood building out in between. And then this over here, plus it's got the um, cloth on the side. This is the company that we're working with and we seem to be pretty satisfied so far. Um, and this is the other end truss. Um, and this is, uh, it looks like they have an area where the light can come in on this side. Um, didn't do it on this side, however, interesting. So this will probably look like this truss, this end truss here. And it looks like to me that they have all the walls done, the outer walls done. There's going to be no inner walls. If there's going to be inner walls, Chris and I are going to do that together. Um, and this is, you know, how they prepare the surface. So unlike our home, that was, uh, the metal was connected straight to zip board. This was not or this will not be. Um, so there will be a layer in between which that layer can um, keep in some, just let the building breathe a little more, which I like that idea. So, and then you can see up near the top again, this area is not covered in because that is all gonna be, I will show you. I just moved the the chickens over there all as well. Um, made a big difference with that, putting that stuff together. They're probably not going to come out today because it's so muddy and it's still raining off and on. Um, and they need more people to uh, come out and work with them. Now this is going to be what's on the top layer folks um this is a clear plastic where the light can come in and um, even though frank our electrician will probably make sure that we have plenty of light <laughs> um during the day the less we have to turn on lights the better right save energy um that's a big building it's um about as big as our house so um, you know, Mabel needs a good home. I need a place to start seeds. Chris needs a place to work on business stuff. And, uh, that's how it's going. So we're excited to see this much done. And it is going a little slower because it's getting close to fall. And that's when our rainy season is here. So... Um, one of our pressures right now is to get our grass mowed again so that we can prepare for lime coming in um, out here so we can get pasture grass in. So maybe next year sometimes we'll get some animals on it. So we'll see you next time here on Hedgehog's Homestead. Thank you for coming along and thank you for watching this video. We appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more of this content and all homesteading content, gardening, all of that stuff. We are building a homestead on raw land here. That's what we're doing, folks. And you can even look back and see this build of this house and the problems we had with that one um, compared to what's going on here so far. So um, looking forward to it. That uh, this structure is going to have a lot of windows in it as well, as well as the top thing open. So we're excited. We're, we're doing landscaping, getting trees out. Um, and, you know, we've landscaped this whole area in the front here. Plus we got a vegetable garden. Plus we got meat chickens. Meat chickens right there. And we're moving around in a tractor around our trees so that they get some nice fertilization. And we got puppies. 
that shouldn't be eating, where is he? Right there. He shouldn't be eating any chicken food. Or chicken excrement. Ooh. Anyways, God bless. We'll see you next time here on Hedgehog Homestead. Bye.